Olivia Caldwell last updated 1550, September 21, 2017 Kate Abraham wants back in the White Ferns. Surprised by her selection in the Canterbury women's rugby team this season, Kate Abraham doesn't mind shifting to the bench for world champion Black Ferns halfback Kendra Cox Edge. Canterbury will play competition favorites Counties Manukau away this weekend and Abraham will be sidelined to make room for Cox Edge, who has been rested since the Rugby World Cup final in Ireland. Abraham, a Canterbury cricket representative and an outside chance for the White Ferns, said she has been enjoying a new environment with the rugby team. Kate Abraham in yellow for Taranaki, now donning the red and black of Canterbury. Both from Taranaki, she and Cox Edge went to New Plymouth Girls High School just a couple of years apart and grew up playing sport alongside each other. Redmore County coach confident for season there was always some good rivalry and mateship, Abraham said. Kate Abraham once represented the Central Hines before moving south. We've both played a bit of cricket together, we are blimmin' similar really. We always give each other a hard time and throw a bit of banter around. While Cox Edge chose to pursue her successful rugby career, Ebrahim said her sights were still on the White Ferns jersey. While she is loving rugby, she is happy to be a second stringer to her pal. Kate Abraham knee Broadmoor playing for the Northern Black Women at her home province in Taranaki. I've still got my eyes firmly on the White Ferns. I want to back up my season with the Canterbury Magicians and just keep making sure I am enjoying my cricket. If I can put in consistent performances, any further selections will take care of themselves. Al rounder Abraham Nee Broadmoor led Canterbury to the one day final last February, scoring 100 not out in the final the third time of her career. A natural sportswoman, the 25 year old represented Taranaki in rugby, hockey, and cricket. However, she was shocked when included in the Canterbury rugby team. To be honest, being in the Canterbury squad has been a hell of a surprise, then being a starter, while Kendra has been away. I haven't really thought where I would want to go with my rugby. Having Cox Edge back fresh from a World Cup win would boost the side, who have had only one loss of three matches this season. I couldn't learn from a better role model, she's the best in the world at her position. Me on the bench behind Kendra is all fine with me, I don't expect to be on the field with her around. I can learn a lot off the bench. The entire Canterbury squad had watched the Black Ferns final with anticipation last month, which created a kind of buzz at trainings, she said. In comparison, watching the White Ferns Cricket World Cup failure in June was a much harder pill for Abraham to swallow after she narrowly missed out on selection. Seeing the result was tough, and I felt sorry for the girls. We all wanted them to do well at the World Cup. I guess it's just time to look and move forward. While Abraham missed out on World Cup experience, the past 12 months has brought a lot of great joy, she said, marrying her partner Diane Abraham, a Canterbury cricket high-performance coach. Every day is booked with training unfortunately. I'm just lucky to have an understanding husband who cooks me dinner, we are a team. Kick-off against Counties Manukau will be at 12 p.m. on Saturday at Massey Park, Papakura. Stuff.